Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to part two for your reading for the week of February 14th. Uh, We're just going to jump right in here, Pisces, and we are going to see what is going on for you. Uh, With the Go the Distance card, you have the Serendipity card. Um, I love this. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. Kind of like a card of luck. She's being lifted up by a four-leaf clover. I really feel it's talking about, again, in your first reading, we were talking about momentum. And if you haven't watched part one yet, it's linked up down below. But we're talking about capturing momentum keeping the momentum going. I kind of feel like this is more talking about guidance. You know, serendipity is like things happening in a certain way or, uh, you know, kind of like things happening in a serendipitous way. And that's what I feel like it will happen for you. It's like, if you're moving in the right direction, it's almost like just, I feel like the world is going to open up to you. If, if you're noticing these eight of swords type blocks, which we have right here, the eight of swords down here, I feel like it's saying, if you're noticing the Eight of Swords energy, it's time to look for another way to do things. So if you're feeling blocked or trapped in any area of your life, I would be looking for serendipity. I would be looking for those moments where things just the, kind of like the way opens up to you, the path appears in front of you, because I literally feel it will be that obvious if you're moving in the right direction. So I would be very, I would be paying a lot of attention to blockages or resistance, whatever you want to call it. Uh, with the Six of Swords, you have the King of Pentacles. Very interesting. We were talking on the Ace of Wands, how the um, castle is crumbling behind the Ace of Wands. And the Six of Swords, we were talking about moving away from something that has maybe been established. King of Pentacles is, you know, something that has been established. It is a card of establishment. It is also a start of convention, a card of uh, convention as well kind of represents the way things have always been done and I feel like for some of you you're kind of maybe breaking tradition um doing things differently uh you know doing you know asking why (laughs) which I think is very important if there's like uh, if there's like one thing that I could take away from maybe the energy this year is it's like ask why uh, are things done a certain way um Or why have things always been done a certain way? I always tell people, don't listen to me. And I'm not kidding when I say that because it's like, I think the most dangerous thing uh, right now until 2020, uh, until 2033 or something like that is like following a guru and not being your own guru at this time. And, you know, again, I think it's good that people are out there giving advice, but I don't think we should be putting people on a pedestal, including me. So don't put me on a pedestal, right? My advice is just bad advice (laughs) that I've learned through a bunch of failures, right? So it's like, you know, take the advice, listen to it and say, you know, does this fit into my life? I think there's too much of this like you know oh listen to this person listen to this person listen to this idea or this idea and it's like nobody's like saying well there might be this person maybe has some good ideas this other person has some good ideas so it's like why not take a little bit of both right and you know, what do they say? Variety is a spice of life, right? And that's kind of like what I feel here, Pisces. It's not about like this person being right or that person being right or, you know, this idea or that idea. I feel like it's more variety. I I truly believe people that are, that become more flexible like that are just going to be more successful in the future instead of being so eight of swords fixed on one way of doing things. This goes for business, health, pretty much everything, spirituality, everything you could possibly imagine. Uh, With the um, chariot, you have the judgment card again, boom. Like I literally knew that this card was supposed to show up in your reading because it popped out at the end there and then here it is. So judgment card is about like a wake up call. I do feel like there is a major wake up call and this wake up call could get you moving. I really feel it's more as excitement. Correct me if I'm wrong, Pisces, but I'm pretty sure in your last reading that I did the Valentine's Day bonus reading, which is for the week of the 14th, basically, or uh, those were kind of timeless, but um, I'm pretty sure I said something about this where it's like there's more excitement energy for you and I feel you need to listen to that. I literally feel the excitement is your higher self saying, move in this direction. Don't question it. (laughs) So it's like, if you're excited about a person, an idea, a job, a business, um, getting a dog, I don't care what it is. Um, I would move towards excitement because I literally feel the excitement energy is more your higher self saying, yes, move in this direction. This is the right direction. With the Ace of Wands, you have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's going to require you to be bold and assertive. I always say Queen of Wands, my card of being bold, being assertive, uh, really kind of aggressively going towards something. She's like, she's very bold. <laughs> uh, she really doesn't back down. She kind of uses her willpower, just like the Chariot card. The Chariot card, which you have here, is a card of willpower in kind of using your will to be successful. She has a very strong will as well. So I do feel you're going to be like taking some risks at this time doesn't really surprise me. Pretty much everybody has had that. Uh, With the release card, you have the courage card. Yeah, uh, again, this is going to require courage, whatever you're doing at this time, whatever, um, you know, whatever you are creating or whatever you're working on. 
I think it's going to require courage just because, again, it breaks some sort of tradition or something along those lines. Again, if you're asking the question why, like why do we, uh, why do we do things a certain way or should we do things a certain way, um, then you know it's kind of like you're being a little bit of a re rebel. You know, I get a little bit of that rebellious energy here, but I don't think it's like a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Uh, with the Three of Cups, you have the a Page of Pentacles. Uh, could be good news coming in from a group of people. I like that. Also, if you're working with other people, I feel like you're going to, ha you're just like in the learning process. Again, it doesn't really surprise me just based off your astrology that, you know, if you have a business, a career, if you're a leader in some area of life, who cares where, um, you know, you could be learning what it means to, you know, give instruction. You could be learning what it means to how to like get a group of people to work together in the first place and all that other stuff. I would just say, you know, make as many mistakes as you possibly can and learn as much as you possibly can. <laughs> the only way we can learn is by making mistakes. And, uh, you know, the Eight of Swords is about coming up with a better way of doing things. You know, Eight, eight of Swords, I really feel, I don't think it dominates your reading. I just think it's a very strong energy in this reading. And it's, you know, it's being too focused, focusing on one thing, not seeing that there are other ways of doing things. I really feel you have this opportunity to like, again, I get this like, thing about capturing momentum, like I was saying in your first reading, but it's like, you know, here, I feel like it's about making things more simple on yourself, making things easier. And I feel like if you're like working on a business, working on a project, maybe you're discovering that things don't have to be so hard. Things can be easier. Same thing in love. It's like things don't have to be hard in love. We make them hard in love. And so I feel like you're kind of making things easier, but it's going to be through learning and trial and error. Uh, with the strength card, you have the fool. Definitely time for something new. I mean, clearly this whole entire reading has been about like you kind of walking away from one thing, moving to another. It doesn't really surprise me. Like I said, you and Aries, uh, that part of the sky um, pretty much is dealing with this right now. So it makes perfect sense to me. And uh, I feel like you're taking a leap of faith. Another card of companionship. By the way, if you're looking for love, this could be like a earth sign coming in for you. It could be someone permanent as well. Or it could be a cancer. You have Virgo, fire here. It could be any sign. Pisces, clearly. Um, but what I would say here is that uh, I feel like this is someone who's very loyal. Um, with the Virgo card, the Hermit, you have the Six of Swords. Again, yeah, moving on to calmer shores. Definitely time to move away from things uh, that no longer serve you. If you've been thinking about kind of starting over, you know, it doesn't even have to be starting over energy. It, it could just be big expansion energy. It's like sometimes, you know, it's like maybe you want to take something to the next level. Maybe you have a YouTube channel and you want to have a studio or something like that. I kind of am seeing this as either some of you could be totally moving on from a situation. For others, I feel this is like a big expansion that is going on, you know, kind of like an upgrade energy. And uh, I really like that for you, Pisces. I kind of feel this energy of like needing to focus as well. I almost feel like the past 10 years or whatever have been kind of like more of a playground. I'm not saying it's been fun because I don't think it has. I think there have been a lot of challenges over the past 10 years for you, Pisces. Um, but at the same time, I feel like there's been a lot of exploration just intuitively. Uh, I feel this for you. And where maybe you explore different ideas, um, you know, different project ideas, different business ideas, uh, different love ideas, pretty much everything. And it's like now I feel like things are kind of like starting to narrow and like get more kind of focused. And I feel like this is a good thing for you, Pisces. It's like you're um, moving into alignment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, with the dog spirit, you have the dolphin. It says this and that are true. Exactly. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, exactly what I was talking about, by the way. Uh, this card says, you know, basically both sides are right of uh, with any issue that you could possibly imagine, right? It's, and the reason is, is because you have people on, you know, that believe that you should be maybe live your life one way. You have people that believe you should live the, your life the other way. They're both alive. They're both right, right? They both are happy living the way that they live. So it's kind of like a, that's what this represents. Exactly what I was saying. It's like, I feel you should be questioning things with this energy and saying, and also taking ideas from multiple different uh, groups of people. Again, you are your own guru. I think that's the important thing here. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. Like I said, adventure. Definitely time for an adventure. I feel like you're still exploring. I mean, it's like, like I said, the past 10 years, maybe you've been exploring, learning new things. It's not like that's going to stop. Uh, with the Moon card, you have the Five of Swords. Definitely time to take a risk here with the five of swords. I feel like it's time for you to put yourself out there. I really just get this major, <laughs> I get this major rebellious energy, like I said in the first reading. Um, I, you know, I'm picking up on it here with the moon and the five of swords. I think there are just like certain things in your life where it's like maybe your family or, or people believe that things have to go a certain way. I, I just, I don't know why this is so important and it's popping into my head, but 
I feel like you're just saying, like, why? Like, who made up that rule? Who makes up these rules? I feel like there are, like, all sorts of rules that maybe you even don't realize that you follow in it like in your head right you know it's like maybe there's like for whatever reason you think that you can only make a certain amount of money and it's like if you're exceeding that expectation here i feel like you're saying like wait a minute it's like i used to think i could only make this much now i'm making more it's like what other rules can i break and kind of interesting how that's popping into my head uh with the eight of swords you have the world love it again the world is going to open up for you here pisces i think i said that to you last week um the world is a card of an accomplishment but it's also a card of birthing not only that she is a truly integrated being she has two wands in her hands and one is like the magician's wand she can create with her words she can create with her you know her manifestation the other wand could represent kind of creating with action, you know, putting in the action, taking action, doing things, building things, creating things, you know, actually the doing part. And um, yeah, I kind of feel that for you here. Remember, I, I, like I was saying, it's like, I, I just see you taking like multiple different ideas and kind of like mixing them together. Temperance, like temperance energy, right? And I feel like that would be very, very successful for you, especially in business, but pretty much in any area of your life could also be love or whatever. Uh, I want to clarify that judgment card as well. You have the three of swords here. Some of you could be, you know, it could be a heartbreak because, again, I feel like you're having to make a decision. I think this is maybe the hardest part for you right now. Your challenge is making a decision. It's like maybe you have three business ideas. It's like having to narrow it down to one and kind of like focus it. I wouldn't say it's really heartbreaking. I think it's just more like you want to explore everything with that page of wands energy that's showing up in your reading. Uh, right here. So it's like maybe you're wanting to explore mul multiple things. I don't think this is saying you can never do multiple things, you know, um, in your life. I feel like you're saying for now, and I'm pretty sure I said this to you recently, it's like just for right now, the universe, I feel is saying like, it's super important that you focus on, you know, like one big picture idea, you know, especially with that world card judgment twice here as well. And I would also say, pick the thing that's a little scary, right? You have the Courage card, the Moon, the Queen of Wands. Like, true growth comes from those scary moments or from those things that scare us the most. And so I feel like that's where you're going to get the most growth, like the idea that you have that scares you the most. Maybe you're like, I'm going to move to another country and start a business. I'm going to, you know, move to another country and get married. I'm going to do something big. It doesn't even have to be that. It could just be starting a business. It could just be uh, moving to Las Vegas. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. I would say whatever scares you the most, I feel like that's whatever requires courage and uh, that's going to be the thing that kind of um, makes things makes you more successful here's the thing I don't think it's that scary. You have that serendipity card as well, which I feel like that is saying, like things are just gonna open up for you. You're just gonna be moving forward and it's gonna be easy. So love it, Pisces, looks really good. So thank you for being here, Pisces, really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.